I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Good enough? Yeah, I don't know. Shepard, my friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? It's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. We are cruising through this series, but not really because I think we've been working on it for something for like 18 years or something. When did the Legendary Edition come out? That's when we started. <laughs> the point is, I'm so excited that you guys are watching. And a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. And an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash MissileDineOnline. I would not be able to do this without you. And I appreciate your patience. And by the way, uh, you can check me out on Twitch.tv slash MissileDineOnline. And sometimes I even stream on YouTube. So come on over say hi to stream uh and 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 let me kiss you on the mouth and stuff so i appreciate you guys watching the the series thank you so much uh so last episode was pretty pretty cool we got to chuchanka the krogan homeworld the first homeworlds of uh, alien species that we've actually been able to visit in the entirety of mass effect so far and today's episode we're actually going to be undergoing morden's loyalty mission i wanted to get it in 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 the last episode but the episode it just would have been so long so instead today that's what we're doing we're a level 18 vanguard still commander Corey shepherd and also i wanted to point out that we can actually talk to Fortech now i don't know what happened but now he's available to talk to lord high researcher in matters scientific for clan erdot and i don't have time to answer your inane questions and we have the paragon option we can say hey I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother you i won't take up much of your valuable time my work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I've heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, I know someone understands. I swear I am among brainless pijacks here, toiling among satins. I am the Lord High Researcher. Wow, impressive. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew it was too much. Even Krogan scientists are kind of monsters. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. And what are you up to now, crazy scientist guy? You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best defensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? Sound like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. <laughs> hey, why don't you tell us about Rex? Sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. All right, cool. See ya. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes. And you would along. hope that with that that dialogue there, that we would actually get a discount now over at this Fortax database, but we don't. Uh, it's weird that we're able to talk to him now when we weren't able to talk to him before. It's also worth mentioning that if Rex died in Vermeer, his brother would actually be the, uh, I believe it's his brother, would actually be the uh, the clan leader who is way more aggressive, way more warlike. Um, and that guy is actually not making medicinal anything. He's actually making weapons and he's be the first to tell you. But anyways, the point of today's episode, I just had to show you Fortech because he was, he was sitting there, is to talk to the chief scout who is going to lead us into uh, the next loyalty mission, which is going to be Morden's loyalty. So let's go ahead and see what this guy has in store for us. He needs to help us find a Solarian. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian, poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. 
Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. I think we should find out a little bit more about what we're getting into before we go. So, what about his base? What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. And what about the blood pack? What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the blood pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. And what about the Solarian presence? Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. And just so that we can uh, get a little bit of a, where do you where do you How learn do get to Clan that? Warlock? Just take the truck, human. Follow what's left of the road to Clan Warlock's base. That's where the Solarian was. Just watch out for the blood pack. Oh, that's right. We get to fight the Blood Pack. This mission is actually incredible because of the enemy diversity that we're going to be facing and how every encounter is going to be slightly different from the last one. And I love it. It's amazing. Uh, I love Morden's loyalty mission. It's super good. So I also want to point out that he did say he was missing a scout. And we also have the combustion manifold in the last episode. We need to get the combustion manifold for the mechanics. We have two side quests going into Morden's loyalty. So why don't we talk go ahead, not talk to him later. Still and my friends, let's get to it. Or did you just come Let's to take waste the truck so that we can find the combustion manual, the scout, and Morden's friend, Malon. Let's do it, friends. And our squad for this mission is going to be Morden because it's his loyalty mission and we have to bring him, and Tally. The reason I'm bringing Tally isn't for her combat, isn't for any other reason other than she has one really good line in this, and it's probably her best throughout the entire series. Uh, the moment is amazing, and I want to bring her for that. The other person that I would recommend is obviously Grunt. He's incredibly strong on Tuchanka. He is a Krogan. I'm just a little worried about him seeing the Warlock clan and the efforts, the lengths that they would go to to try to cure the Genophage. Um, and it, losing Grunt to him seeing something like that, probably not the best. And of course, we're also dealing with Malon and Morden and the Genophage, and it Maybe it's just not best that that he finds out about that type of stuff. At least not, not like this, right? So everyone looks like they're as best as they can be. We're going to go ahead and switch uh, Shepard's pistol for the Phalanx heavy pistol that we got in the last episode. Everyone else is going to keep the Carnifax because it's much better. And then we're actually going to go ahead and use the Collector 
particle beam here. Uh, because it's very, very strong. Although the missile launcher is very good as well. But we're going to use the collector beam cannon because it's very good against single targets. Also, look at this truck. Doesn't it just feel Krogan? And uh, there is, it's worth mentioning that the Geth Plasma shotgun isn't going to be the best shotgun for this mission, only because we're not dealing with shields or biotics at all. We are, of course, going to put incendiary down. Look at Tuchanka. This place has been ravaged by nuclear winters, nuclear war, and it's terrible. But as we proceed forward, we are going to discover two uh, new enemies. The Klixen. The Klixen are native to Tuchanka, but we'll be seeing them actually on side quests and uh, a few other things that we can do. These guys spit fire and then, just like that, and also explode when they die. So you don't really want to be next to them when they do that. It's also worth mentioning that this pistol is actually pretty good for this, so we're going to go ahead and switch to that as well. And, like I said, we're going to be dealing with a variety of enemies, and the next enemy we're going to deal with is yet another Klixen that's going to be coming out right here. Look at how much damage that did. Absolutely monstrous. We're going to go ahead and charge it, hopefully sending it a little bit further away from us. And then we'll also notice that a Varen is going to start chasing us. And we'll just go ahead and pop that and try to see if we can take out the second Varen. There we go. Melee for the win, maybe. It's so good. But more than that, we also have some Boom Squad Vorcha hiding right over here that we're going to try to take out. Unfortunately, I somehow missed. You can see the power of this pistol. It's super accurate because of this laser. As long as you aren't moving, that laser is very, very accurate. We have another one here that we're going to go ahead and hit real quick. Get that armor off if we can. And then we'll charge and finish him off with a cryo blast. Shattered. <laughs> Would you love to see it, baby? And then we'll continue up here. Uh, I think there should be... Oh, no. I was hoping that we could find another... Uh, another... Uh, uh, ammunition. Jeez, can't think of the word. Thermal clip. Thank you, Corey. You idiot. And then we'll have more Borcha here, but we're a vanguard, so we can just take them out as we do. And charge to keep our health back, or our shields back. We'll duck under cover here. Hit with an incinerate, send out the combat drone, and you'll notice that we have these Vorcha that are going to be kind of advancing on us, but then we also have the Varen that are advancing on us. We want to take those out, but even more importantly, we also have two Krogan that are about to be entering the fray here. So we're going to send those out, get rid of the Varen, and then we are going to swap to the collector beam that I actually brought with me. And we're going to start using that to basically delete the armor off of these Krogan here. And we get the Trophy Incineration Specialist. We'll go ahead and charge these so that we get our shields back and we will keep this active. Hit him with an incinerate. Actually, we'll hit him with a cryo and then a charge. And there we go. Whew. I got a little spicy there. But you can see that they are playing this very aggressive we can play this very aggressive. So that drone is actually going to keep moving and it's actually going to start attacking the next enemies that we have, which are actually some of these Vorcha with the uh, with the flame uh, uh, flamethrowers on their backs. And we'll just go ahead and explode both of them. And there we go. There's two more hiding behind this corner here. And unfortunately, I don't think we can hit them from here. But there is also a little thing of Iridium that we can grab over here for 600 you love to see it, even though we don't need Iridium at all. It's completely useless to us. These guys should start. There we go. It's like, it's more fun to explode them. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that guy got... I didn't do well for him. We'll go ahead and... Uh, no, let me... Let me... Let me... There we go. I was like, I just want... 
Wait a minute. All right, so then we're going to be a little bit careful here. We're going to put Tally, and unfortunately, Tally went down right away because she got over the cover and didn't come out. We don't want to rush in here because there's going to be a ton of enemies that will kind of flank us from all sides here. If we were to charge over there and charge into this, we'd be dealing with, with them all over. And you can see there's some over here. Which, hey, we're a vanguard. We can do what we want, you know? And there we go. Take that one out. And then we have some more that we can take out. And I believe these are just going to be Vorcha here. You can see the power of this of this pistol too now. Getting that little headshot in there. And again, we're not going to use Unity to res our dear friend Tally because she'll get up on her own after we've killed them all. Now, super, super important thing about this. There is also an explosive crate that doesn't really matter because I wouldn't have been able to get it anyways. But um, one of the important things about this little spot right here is there's something very important that you can grab. And that's this right here. The combustion manifold that we have for a side quest that we got from the mechanic in uh, the Erdnot camp. So we want to make sure that we get that here because if we don't get it here, we miss that quest entirely. And that's... Uh, well, that's just silly, guys. Get the combustion manifold. All right, then we can bypass this door real quick. And that's going to give us access to the hospital proper, where we're going to be having, having to fight uh, just, uh, just a lot we more. Mr. Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. Odd to see the Krogan devote so many resources to caring for the sick. Hospitals important to Krogan. Sites of honor. Focus for repopulation. Huh. Interesting. Morden's always going to have dialogue. Somebody's always going to comment on it. It's his loyalty mission after all, so he's going to comment. Also, I want to point out that uh, if we actually look at Morden, he'll actually get Neural Shock after doing this. Neural Shock is actually a very powerful ability, so I just want to point that out. It's very useful for any time you're fighting organics. Anyways, let's go ahead and examine this dead human body in this Krogan DMZ's. Ah, weird. That body. Human. Need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject, victim of experimentation. Hmm. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was. No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner, maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. You know, using humans is not good. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting, unethical, sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. <sighs> Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High-level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule. Never broke it. That's a really good rule, Morden. Uh, so why would they use Varan? Or why would they use humans over Varan? Wouldn't something native to T'Chanka work better? Varan, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native T'Chanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. Interesting. And what do you think the nature of these experiments was? What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. <sighs> Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Interesting. So somebody knows what they're doing. And what do you mean human genetic diversity? How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No. Ignore superficial appearance. Down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Interesting. 
All right. Well, I'm stopping this. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. All right. Hopefully we can find Malin. Hopefully Malin doesn't have anything to do with genetic tests on humans or hormonal tests on humans and their pineal gland. Anyway, we'll come down here and we'll find another chest for refined iridium. And then we can continue on into the hospital. And we are going to have just, just an awesome scene as we go through this area here. I am the speaker for Clan Warlock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Warlock Gold, the Chief of Cheats, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. You know, we can uh, get some quick little renegade points real quick. I think they're the only points that we can grab and we can tell him what we've done. If I flee, I might trip over the dozen Krogan I killed to get here. I think I'll take my chances. You killed our youngest and weakest human. They were not worthy of remaining near our glorious work. Inside, you will find only hardened, blood-packed veterans, tempered by savagery and war, and dedicated to one goal. The Salarian will cure the Denophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. Now, we want to keep them talking as long as possible, so we don't want to tell him to give us Malon. Instead, now we're going to try the Paragon route, the diplomatic route, and uh, try to see if we can convince this that, that this isn't the way to do it. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No, human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wrong. We will make it right. And then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will become- You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target. Now, no matter what, listen, all right, I know that seems savage, and it was, and it was awesome, but <laughs> no matter what, that guy, that clan speaker, he's going to come down, and he's going to fight you. So, so we did what we had to do to prevent that from happening, and that, my friends, is actually, I think, one of the most impactful renegade options that we have in the entire game, and it's definitely worth doing. That was going to end in, in bloodshed and in, in gunfire no matter what. And we just eliminated one of the most powerful enemies in this level from appearing. So let's go ahead and let's get back to the action. So we immediately are going to be uh, thrust into battle as all of these Krogan... All of these Krogan and Vorcha start coming down here to fight us. Now what's interesting is they have the high ground and yet they're coming down here to try to fight us. I don't know what up with that. It's like a Krogan, a Krogan tactical thing. We'll go ahead and get into this cover here, which is going to be our best spot. We're going to wait and hopefully take out some of these guys as they get a little bit closer. Unfortunately, it looks like Tally. Oh, nope. Tally's not dead. Good. Uh, we're going to wait just a second. Hopefully get this incinerate back up. And we'll go ahead and start channeling this. We'll go ahead and charge on these guys, which is going to knock both of them. Go ahead and finish this one. And we'll start finishing this, and then we'll get in a cover here real quick, see if we can charge, which we can, into this trooper. Yes, we're a little bit low on health, but hey, it happens. Kill that guy, and then right over here, we can start laying into these Vorcha as well. And because of the power of the Collector Beam Cannon, that, my friends, should be the entire fight. Although I think the Krogan is still alive. I thought there was. I guess not. Anyways, we can grab this Iridium. 300 iridium and i think that's all that we can get in this area of the room uh tally's still down so she did end up dying i thought so so there actually is still an enemy here i just honestly couldn't tell you where so <laughs> i don't listen i don't know but we'll go ahead and grab this med station for 100 credits because we're again we're not using unity 
poor Tally. She just goes down all the time. She's got, she's just got very low defenses right now. And we'll continue over this way. You know, labs like it through there can smell antiseptic hint of dead flesh. Ew. It is worth mentioning that this should, this fight's over. I think what's happening is the Krogan, after I charged, like fell into the floor here. And uh, I think, I think that's what happened. I think he's, I think he's like, he's gone. So we'll continue onwards. That was a big fight. That place can be incredibly difficult, but it felt like we were able to handle it. No problem because of the, there's Tally. Hi, you're alive. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, and we can go ahead and we continue on through this door here. We'll find ourselves in the hospital proper, it looks like. We can right away salvage these circuit boards for 3,000 credits, which is awesome. That's not the last credits that we're going to be able to find in this area. And then we can go ahead and grab this more iridium. I feel like we have so much iridium, but that's fine. And then we can access these... At computer? The, 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 fo the footage crashed for a second. And we can go ahead and access this computer terminal and access these files. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences, hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors, avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. So what Morden's suggesting is that it seems to be working? Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morden. Not developing, modifying, much more difficult, working within confines of existing genophage a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in 1,000, perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. Gardening? Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, murdered no one. Altered fertility, prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. I really need to know about the farming equipment. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. The effects on Tuchanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes, refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered, attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage, us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. I mean, here's the thing, and this is what I love about Mass Effect in particular. It's like the, the debate of the Genophage is a legit debate that could be had and and there's no real like there's no real solution you know so if the krogan banded together and formed a united government you'd welcome that yes united krogan saved galaxy destroyed rachni genophage not a punishment simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment hmm what was it like working on the genophage modification project <laughs> Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No, all changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project, separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Interesting. So it, do it does impact him. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy. No ethical concerns. 
Understand rationale for modified genophage, right choice, still. Hard to sleep some nights. I can imagine. And finally, let's get moving. We're not gonna find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. And you can start to see that he's letting us know a little bit more about the way that he feels about the genophage and what it's done. And unfortunately, he's going to have another thing to say. And I think we're gonna start to see his conviction in the genophage start wavering here. Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, Werelock, female. Willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead Krogan. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live, Krogan. Never killed with medicine. Her death, not my work. Only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically. But still unnecessary. Foolish. Waste of life. Hate to see it. I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. Did you come to Tachanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples. Ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. See small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives. Then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races, no answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor who killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope. Scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic. Not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill, still caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life, popular Salarian concept, similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life, learn, adapt, improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Brachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase, all pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save Galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from Galaxy. We have a bunch of different options here that we could choose, but let's go with you could have cured them. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives, war would have ended. So you're willing to sterilize a species based on the evidence of a few simulations? Yes, millions of data points, years of arguments, countless scenarios, all noted Krogan fragmentation as dangerous, no unified culture to support repopulation. Would have been war, Turians and humans destroying Krogan utterly. Genophage was better, saved lives. And yet, here you have Rex doing exactly what it was supposed to be impossible, unifying the Krogan. Look at the dead woman, Morden. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
my friends, that entire conversation is why I think Morden Solace is like just one of the best characters. And yeah, I have a little statue of him. How awesome is that? Anyways, I just, that is so, you just don't get that in games. You know what I mean? You just don't get that. So unfortunately, that's all of the conversation that we could get. I wish we could talk to him more, but we can't. So let's go ahead and act this research terminal and hopefully get something good from it. And there we go. We'll get some research that we can do back on the Normandy when we finally go back there, which is going to be a little while, which is more health for our dear boy Grunt. We got Krogan Vitality, which is actually very useful for his loyalty mission. Unfortunately, though, like I mentioned in the previous episode, we can't go back to the Normandy until we are finished with Krogan's lo uh, with Krogan, with Grunt's loyalty mission. So we're going to continue this way, and we're about to see why we brought Tally. So we're not going to go use this door here. Instead, we're going to use the one immediately on our right, which we're going to find a sick Krogan. This, my friends, is the missing Erdnot Scout. But first, let's hack this data pad for 1,500 credits. There we go. You'd love to see it. I mean, 1,500 credits feels a little low, but... All right, let's go ahead and talk to the sick Krogan, and you guys are going to love the reason why we brought Tally, if you've never seen this dialogue before. You killed the Blood Pack guards. Not Blood Pack. Not member of Clan Werelock. Wrong clan markings. I'm an Erdnot Scout. Warlock guards got me. Brought me here. The chief scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdnot. I can't. The Warlock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. I'll have to stay. Morden, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. And we have four different options here that we can choose. And it really just means two different options. The ones on the right-hand side are going to take longer to get to the same conclusion. And then we also have an, uh, a, a Paragon option and a Renegade option. We're going to go ahead and charm this this sick Krogan scout. Millions of children will be born. Werelock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. I could do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarry and with a tummy ache. I'm standing right here. I can do it. <laughs> I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I absolutely love bringing Tally on this mission just for that one little, I'm standing right here. It's so good. Uh, also, I wanted to point out, she was dead earlier, but she does have another uh, line of dialogue. When Morden mentions walking to the hospital and smells like dead flesh, she'll actually mention something about how she's she's glad she can turn off her olfactory settings uh, so that the smell doesn't come into her, her suit. Uh, unfortunately, she was dead, so she didn't get to say that line, but it's still, it's, it's, you know, it's a good one. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot can cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosives useful. Burn through cloak and armor. Hmm, indeed. All right, let's go ahead and enter into this area here. We're going to have to deal with two Vorcha across from us that hopefully we can take out real quick. And it looks like we probably can. They're just Vorcha, and they die incredibly quickly. 
But the important part of that is we need to take these guys out as soon as we can, just because we're dealing with Krogan that are going to be coming in here as well, at which, you know, there they are. And we're going to go ahead and incinerate this real quick and send this combat drone out. Unfortunately, immediately taking out Tally yet again with that charge and that shotgun. This is what I mean, is while I love Tally, she just feels so, so weak when it comes to uh, doing things here on Tuchanka. And we'll go ahead and we will hopefully get a twofer here. We'll explode this. There we go. Go ahead and burn his. And we're going to charge this one here at the end. Sending him dead. And go ahead and charge this guy as well. And we'll go ahead and melee as much as we can here. And there we go. Krogan dead. You love, you love, you love to see it. There it is. Circuit boards for 4,500 credit. You absolutely love to see it. And then we can continue on this way. And these explosive containers are fine. They don't really matter that much, to be honest with you. We'll grab these thermal clips that are laying on the ground over here. They, I mean, they're fine. It's just, it's like, they're whatever. Then grab this med station here for 100 credits. Tally's back up. So we're going to go ahead and put her into cover here. Moving out of line of fire. Moving down. And of course, we're going to be dealing with more enemies, this time Varen. Which, the Varen can actually die from this pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and do that. Send this one flying. Or not. And then we're going to be dealing with this guy as well. Coming in close. He's going to charge at us. We're going to use Incineration Blast Combat Drone. Stop his charge. And go ahead and switch to the Locust here. And he's going to charge the drone, which is going to do damage to him. And the Krogan warrior is dead. You know, these Krogan just kind of throw themselves at us and die. And it's like, oh, you poor soul. Anyways, we'll grab this 159 weapon ammo. And then we'll notice that there's actually an area down here that we can go. But we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, I don't believe there's anything in this room that we can grab. So, yep, that's the only thing we can do is head down over here. where we're going to deal with the final combat of the entire mission. So it's time to pull out our particle beam cannon here <laughs> and just absolutely toast these guys here. We're going to go ahead and incinerate, send this out and uh, charge so we can get back our shields and just keep on toasting, baby. And finally... Coming from over here, we'll have Varen and another Krogan. Two more Krogan. And we're just going to start melting. Get these Varen down immediately. And we're not done there. Our particle beam cannon is out. And the leader himself has arrived. Warlock Gold. We'll go ahead and charge these guys. Hopefully get our shields back and our health back knocking him off the edge and we're going to combat drone and incinerate which is going to hopefully finish him off and then watch out for the chief warlock gold here as well we're going to go ahead and put on perfect and shoot through his barrier as quickly as possible the only enemy in the entire level that has a barrier i think the clan speaker does as well but better head and toast his armor as much as we can here and we should be able to charge Send him flying. And my friends, the clan Warlock Golds is absolutely dead meat when it comes to a vanguard. It's like he can't do anything to us, you know? It's like he's weak. And now that they're all defeated, we can use this door that was over here. Open this up. And grab this locked crate that we can go ahead and bypass. For 3,000 extra credits, which, again, I am so broke in this game that I need all of the credits I can possibly get, uh, which means a lot of trying to make Urs, <laughs> trying to make Urs fight for us. Of course, that's going to take a few more episodes before we can just get him to spam for us. I don't think there's anything over here either, but uh, I thought I'd just check real quick. I'm pretty sure we have almost everything, and that, my friends, was the final confrontation of this entire mission of Morden's loyalty mission. No more combat is necessary. 
uh, the clan warlock is pretty much defeated now that gold is taken down. What that means for the blood pack? Not much. We'll be seeing more of the blood pack as we go. But there's another research terminal here that we can go ahead and hack. Which is going to give us heavy weapon ammo, my friends. I think that might be our final heavy weapon ammo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't actually know now. And we can open this door and find out some bad news. Malin, alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. This is quite a twist. Not only for us, but even more so for Morden, who never would have expected that Malon willingly came here to cure the genophage. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warlock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warlock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. Interesting. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That will be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse, and I'm going to fix it. Honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morden, did you ever perform experiments like this? No, never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. You know, he has a point. If there was a ton of Krogan and the Turians did somehow stop the Geth fleet because they were on alert for Krogan activity and blah, 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 then we never would have found out about the Reaper invasion and we wouldn't have stopped them from using the relay to get into the Citadel and destroy the universe. So actually, in a weird way, the Genophage actually kind of did help save the universe. You know, that's... But then again, then you start getting into, well, whatever. You talked about killing, but the Genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. I have to disagree with Morden because we're seeing a Krogan literally do what needs to be done. Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. <gasps> no. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project. 
Special Tasks Group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special Task Group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. <laughs> Morden thinking outside the box. So, of course, you don't have to do that Paragon Interrupt, but uh, it feels like the right thing to do. You heard the Professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The Genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morden. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the Genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. This is the research that includes tests on living victims. It's tainted. Right now, victims died for nothing. Keep it. Use it. Death's worth something. Malin's work could cure Genophage. I don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. And, my friends, one of the biggest decisions you can possibly make in the entirety of the Mass Effect universe is right here. One of... We basically have four different options. We can help the Krogan give the data to the Krogan. We can say the Genophage was the right call. We can destroy the data. Or we can hold on to the data. And, my friends, I think that the data is a little bit too dangerous and a little bit too important to hand over to the Krogan without knowing exactly how the Krogan are going to react to it. The Genophage... I don't think it's up to uh, Commander Corey Shepard here to say if it was the right call or not, but she definitely feels like it wasn't. And destroying the data feels like a complete waste of everyone's life that was spent creating that data. So instead, we're going to trust Morden to hold on to that data for us. Keep the data. Better to have it and not need it. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure but closer than starting from scratch. Done, ready to go, ready to be off to Chanka, anywhere else, maybe somewhere sunny. And we are going to stay longer. I'd like to look around a bit more. I highly, highly recommend staying longer. We got 30 Paragons uh, points for that because there is actually a wall computer right here that we can hack for more credits. And if you leave, you will not be able to do that. So let's hack this for 3000 more credits. And those 3,000 credits, our hours. And that's all that we can do here. Unfortunately, this didn't go the way that we had hoped. But at least Malon wasn't tortured. But a lot of Krogan died for nothing. Let's go ahead and end this mission here. The end of Morden's loyalty. Now he is uh, loyal to our cause. And there we go. We have gained a level. We are now level 19, 750 experience, gained two squad points. Troubled by Clan Warlock's progress toward Genophage cure without Cerberus knowledge. Cure data may prove useful. Krogan dangerous, but if recruited as shock troops against Reapers, extremely valuable. Fucking Cerberus, dude. Morden's assistant is no longer a problem. Morden will have no trouble focusing on the mission. And Morden has finally unlocked his loyalty power, Neural Shock, cripple an organic enemy with pain. It's awesome. It's very good. Uh, and he also has a new outfit, which is actually pretty dope, and I like it. Uh, we also got the Krogan Vitality. All Krogan squad members get plus 50% health. That's just grunt. And our heavy weapon ammo, which is now plus 75%. I'm pretty sure that's a maxed out. Oh, um, that, I think that's a maxed out heavy ammo. Uh, and then we also got 30,000 credits. All of the credits that we can possibly get in that mission. And 2,000 Iridium. And we get the trophy, The Cure. Love that band. Amazing. And we'll find ourselves back, this time not on the Normandy, but right outside on the shuttle, which is perfect. We're going to go ahead and put Morden and Grunt in our group. Uh, actually, let me uh, show you Morden's appearance here. So that's his new appearance. It's kind of just like a 
same basic thing, but just looks a little cooler and cleaner, I think. And then we'll go ahead and put Grunt in our party as well, because in the next episode, we are going to complete Grunt's loyalty mission. And then we'll be thrust into a mandatory story. But the, the point is, is we can still do that. Also, we can go ahead. We now have four points for Morden, so we can go ahead and put that into his Salarian Scientist. And we're actually going to go with Salarian Savant. And the reason for that is, if you just noticed from that mission that we just took, Morden is almost never out in the open and usually isn't going to die. Uh, I've noticed, anyways. If anybody dies, it's going to be Tally. And because we're playing on Insanity, Genius is kind of useless. It increases his shields. But honestly, that's not going to do anything. If he's going to die on Insanity, he's going to die. It doesn't matter if he has uh that that increased little shield or not so i recommend going solarian savant so that he can get that extra weapon damage i just think it's better and honestly you don't even have to max this yet potentially doing these all other abilities first might even be better than going solarian savant to be honest with you but hey we'll do it and he'll have just a little bit better for weapons uh we're not going to worry about any of our weapons loadouts at this time because it's just not necessary and there are a few things that we can do now that we've completed Morden's loyalty that I want to do in this mission because they are side quests that were from that. First of all, if we continue this way, Edie will give us an update after we've done that. Clan Erdnaught has increased in strength after the destruction of Clan Werelock. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnaught has adopted surviving members of Clan Werelock, mostly women and children. Ah, intelligent move. Surprising from Kroger. Glad to see it. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Which is exactly what we're going to do in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. But let's go turn in these side quests because we can still do that. And I just think, I think it's so cool that you hear about, Hi, Urs, what's going on? Uh, Urs, you all right? You broken? Oh, no, you're not broken. I thought you were broken. Uh, he can do pit fighting now because we've done a mission. He should be totally healthy. Uh, but I just think it's interesting that they actually give us an update. Defeating Clan Warlock made Clan Erdnot stronger. The people trying to unify the Krogan. I'm super into it. Anyways, let's go and talk to this mechanic here and give him the combustion manifold that we found. You're stand there and make yourself useful. And I will. I can't do anything until I build a replacement manifold for this damn Tonka. Uh, actually, I have that. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You've earned my time if you want it. Yeah, and what would that be? How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Also, why would this guy be a mechanic? Dragons place so much importance on martial strength. How'd you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnaught. All right, mechanic. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Love that. We'll get 40 experience for completing that, getting him the combustion manifolds. And then if we check our journal here, we can see the mechanic is very grateful for the delivery of the combustion manifolds. It's a little upsetting that the only thing that we get from that is 40 experience. He doesn't even I'm give us money. Dead. Hey. Let's do some pit fighting real quick. And finally, we can head over to the Chief Scout because we found his scout for him. The, the tummy ache guy. My scout made it back. Yeah. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Yep. You're very welcome. Talk to you later. I don't get anything for that. Whatever. Completion is completion, I guess. It's fine. I'm not mad. It's whatever. Anyways, I tried fighting with Urs, and he actually died or got defeated on his first pit fight. That was annoying. And, my friends, in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, we'll go ahead, talk to Rex, figure out what's going on with Grunt, and complete Grunt's loyalty mission, which is going to then lead us directly into an absolutely mandatory mission that we have to undertake. Uh, and that means that we are going into 
the third act, the third and final act of Mass Effect 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sincerely appreciate you guys hanging out and your patience on this series. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode and if you're enjoying uh, Mass Effect 2 in general. Um, and also, uh, how awesome is Morden? And he's just the best. And like, you know, you can get a statue. By the way, you can get this on the Bioware store. It's awesome. It's like, I don't even know how much, but I love it. And it's it goes on my back shelf and it's amazing. Uh, also, a huge shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash online. I love you guys very much. Thank you for hanging out. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Blood Pack. Bye, everyone.